Welcome to One Hour Wednesday, where we do something for an hour on a Wednesday. And before we get into why the daily videos have been on pause, let me just say that today we are going to be repeating an idea that I had in the past, but with a little twist. We'll be going to the deepest obelisk in the wild, waiting outside of it, but this time, we're going to be a rock. I know, one of the old Mad Cow twists, but it should give us a little more stealth. And just to be extra safe, I'll be bringing a Mage Cape with Heli Block and Mage Cape Swap. So in case I do find someone of good loot, they can't just teleport away. But I should be able to hold them back with my hard diaries. Either way, let us gear up. Alrighty, I am geared, and of course when we do one hour Wednesdays, we do spare some expenses, but we definitely try to suit up. I got full arims, or have you say that, whatever Rakesy says, I like the way he says it. The Seer's Ring, pretty much just basic standard gear, Blessed Spirit Shield, I know I, I spent a little money on that. Uh, no Carol's Top, because I'm gonna be real, Carol's and Black D.I. are very, very similar. Dragon Crossbow, D-Claws. Very scary and multi, but because I'm not gonna be streaming, I'm hopefully not gonna get maced. And of course we do have the mage cape and our spellbook swap. So we gotta do a bit of a scary teleport before we uh, get out there, but we got the timer up not going yet. We haven't made our way. But I thought while we're walking there, I could tell you guys, one, we have a new webcam. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm gonna try to make everything look super great for you guys. And two, the reason why the daily uploads have stopped is because I, I'm not gonna lie, I got burnt. I got burnt and I was having such a great time and then that one video got hit with limited ads and I just tumbled and I apologize, but I think it was a good thing because Leagues is happening October 28th and it's two months long and I plan to do daily uploads if you guys want content daily from that for two months straight. So I am about to enter a grind which I have never seen. Also, I will be unlocking the wilderness which means a lot of really sweet but scary content the whole time. Here's this beautiful spot. I do gotta watch out for clans. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to a, uh, a total world first. 1750, highest I can go to sadly. One day I'll hit 2k. One day. Alright, and then the trick is... There we go. So now I can Ice Barrage. I'm a rock. I still show up on the mini-map, but I'll have to I'll have to keep a keen eye. I think I'm going to switch worlds every five minutes. But if I see any white dots, it's go time. Side. Oh, someone actually just got to kill the Chaos Ellie. Let's see. Is he still out here? Yes, he is. Okay. So we're on somebody. He's not, I guess, waiting by the obelisk. I found him because he did have the kill share drop on, but this is going to be clan central right now. Come on, Claws. Just finish him up. Oh, he needs some milk. Okay. So I might have died for bank here earlier. That's why I'm a little, <laughs> a little scared to stay. I'm going to have my log out thing up here. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pause the timer. One minute in, <laughs> found a kill while explaining what I was doing. That, my friends, is hilarious. Okay, so I'm gonna have to full reset. Rocks aren't scald. First kill in. <laughs> First world I picked, dude. That counts, because I saw he was killing the Chaos Ellie in the chat bar, and I was waiting by the obelisk. That is beautiful. Uh, looking at 217k loot. Bro, we keep this up, we're gonna be very rich. Let's go reset. All right, we're at the scary spot. I am very nervous for some reason. It's probably because I took a couple days off and I'm right back in a RuneScape risking some money out here in Multi, but I shouldn't be this cautious. Another 1750 world. I do get scared though because the, um, the Black Knight's Fortress is held down by a very weird weird clan but we're a little to the right here it looks a little more natural i don't know if that makes any sense but timer is up let's see if anyone runs into us and just so you guys know while this is happening i am literally just alone in my room for an hour no music nothing these waiting ones are rough dude <laughs> dude another person's doing ellie another person's doing ellie <laughs> I might actually stop going after these guys, man. Usually no one's out here. 
Okay, I am on him. I've caught him. Beautiful. He was so dark I couldn't see him, man. I, I mean nothing by that, by the way. There's another claw spec in here. Nothing fancy. And I want him killed before anyone logs in. The scary part is the Chaos Ellie does spawn right on top of me, but I should have 20 20 seconds here, 15 seconds possibly. As you can see, I don't make up being nervous. I am actually nervous. I have been decimated by the Chaos Ellie and its clan. So pop the timer, another kill. I'm guessing Total Worlds is just where people do the Chaos Ellie, but when I PK out here, I actually don't find that many people doing the Ellie. So it's kind of very good luck here. Looting bag, not as big as the last one though. Only about 86K. They don't risk much. I'm hoping that we <laughs> stop running over there though, because they might start to catch on, man. Hello, naked person. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's 10K right there. Gonna be pick up a little, a little bit of money. I think he was doing diaries, but hey, that'll go in a loot tracker. We'll pause the timer again. Uh, you know me. If I see somebody while I'm banking, bye. Before I forget. Because I have the hard diaries, I can make it so that I can teleport people back to the same destination. So I want to set that up before someone pops up just so I don't, uh, well, fail it. Hello there. Uh, what the fuck is that, dude? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to pick another world. Only because I want to go for that? And he might have been alone. He might have been alone. But I'm five minutes in, and I don't think I want to taste death because I attacked a dude in lunar robes five minutes in, man. That's like a it's like a 10 minutes left kind of thing, you know? All right, I'm 12 minutes in. It's been very, very empty on this world. I think I'm ready to try the 750 worlds again. Um, hopefully they don't know I'm the 750 bandit that keeps striking down people on those worlds. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes it just happens, dude. It's us. I think we just got a nice little reset there. So it's not gonna teleport him out, which is the best part. And he's right back. <laughs> it's funny, it's weird. It's like, I haven't had anyone run into me, but it brought me back here. Yeah, I know, it's 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 wild, buddy. Sorry, man. <laughs> you gotta teach him the ways. All right, so that is our fourth PK in 13 minutes, which sometimes you only get four PKs in an hour out here. Not, not great PKs, but I'll, I'll take him. I'll take him, man. That being said, let's go ahead and bounce. Uh, the loot is going to be 25k. Oh my god, another person's doing Chaos Ellie. Um, this is this is getting a little sketchy because everyone's doing on a total world there. But hey, there's going to be a kill on the plate if we can grab him. So, looks like he's probably a little deeper than I thought. He's gone. He is, oh my god, he is so deep. Level 100 in black dehyde. Looks like he was doing the longest safe spot. All right, we did catch him. I'm gonna go for the claws right away. Not gonna waste any time here. Oh, another kill. All right, beautiful. That is a kill in the bag. I have not seen any clans, but I don't want to jinx myself. But it seems like everyone's doing the Chaos Ellie on Total World. Let's get a little away, pause the timer, only 15 minutes in. We still have five kills in the bag. I wish these were a little more impressive, but you never know what we could run into. So that is 109K. We are rich. Oh. Alrighty, we are back out to where we want to be. I think it's time to try World 420. I know a lot of people use this world for obvious reasons, and it's a total world, so maybe we'll get a little lucky and find someone running glories, because I want to get at least one person with an inventory full of juicy glories, man. That's my goal. Person. I just saw a person. A white dot outside the gate. So I think he's coming in. We will see. I saw another white dot. There we go. Looks like he's doing his mage cape. Um, I might go check it out. I'm going to give him like 10 seconds. But if they're not over here, that means that they're doing something over there, Adam. All right, caught someone, caught someone, doing a cape. Bro, what a cool kill. We got a cape guy. I don't think this guy's a bay, which gives me confidence. But he is running that way, which also gives me... Also scares me a bit. Close the gate, kill him, all right. 
so I gotta be careful. He was running this way instead of the other way, which freaks me out. Um, I don't know if there was two people outside the gate. I only saw one dot, but I saw that dot twice. So let's pause the timer. Loot his stuff. Does look like he was going for a, um, a cape. Definitely looks like he's going for a cape. All right, and the loot was 148k and a level 29 scald over there, by the way. What are you doing out here, skull? It scared me. Person, person, 111, 111, 111, 111. Is this my glory boy? Uh, I, I don't know what this is actually, but he's dead. Alrighty, so we actually snuck up on another clue scroller. <laughs> a decent amount of rune arrows, snuck up on somebody else. Everyone's doing clues, man. How come Torvesta always finds the people doing clues with like all those teleports, and then I get the guy who complains for losing black dehyde? Either way, we did get a lot of rune arrows from that guy. 500 rune arrows. You think you bring something a little more tanky? Alrighty, we are halfway done with the hour, 30 minutes in, and uh, yeah, back on the 420 world, see if I catch some druggies. Uh, I did mess with the webcam settings, hopefully I don't look as orange or turn the saturation down, I'm trying to perfect it, but I have no idea. I think it looks decent as is, but we'll, we'll, we'll perfect it. 7 kills, 30 minutes in, I'm hoping the next 30 minutes are just as active, because really it's who knows what's going to pop up. Oh, someone just killed the Chaos Ellie on this world. Beautiful. Oh, he's level 65 on a 1750 world. Yo, that's crazy. All right, we're gonna switch worlds. I don't ever trust these these low level accounts. I think they're always <laughs> scouts. Oh, hello. Now let's go ahead and do what we haven't done yet. Now, this isn't like the best kill, but since we only have about 20 minutes left, I thought it would be good to actually use it. <laughs> so, Magnum Mage. He doesn't know that he's TB'd. I don't think he can comprehend you with this. All right, claw let me down hard, but we should still be good. This is probably the longer, longest kill so far. The longer they take, the worse it is. So he still thinks he's gonna teleport. Nothing happened. He doesn't understand, frankly, what, what is happening right now. He's like, this man is freezing me. Why is the teleport not working? <laughs> Bitch here. All right, he's going for it again. Does it work this time? Nope, doesn't work that time either. He is gonna go for it again. He is, <laughs> I think it's his fifth time trying to teleport now. All right, he's finally dead. <laughs> 24 balls! 24 balls, dude! That was such a long fight in the middle of multi. I get 24 balls. The man was eating soup to tank me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so annoyed, bro. Alrighty, boys. The next six and a half minutes or seven. I can't count right now. We're going to be me in a very scary world. We will start the timer. And uh, if we fall, may it be in the name of content. Alrighty, there's 30 seconds till we are done with the hour, and I don't think I've ever felt more safe than on a high-risk world. Like, does anyone use this world? Uh, it must be perfect for hardcore Iron Man. I haven't seen one person. Um, I'm just, I'm just thankful that the first part of the hour was active. The second part, the last 30 minutes, was, uh, was not. All right, that is an hour in. I'm gonna take this to wherever it takes me. Hopefully, safe and not. Uh, near a clan you never know they could be camping 44s now we are completely safe and that is the hour complete of waiting at the deepest obelisk in the wilderness for one hour straight we tried the risky worlds we tried the high total level worlds and we tried the most popular worlds oh thank you sir thanks mr apple erpods <laughs> 
I love people sometimes, man. But we did find a decent amount of people in the first 30 minutes, which was mainly Total World. So I think Total Worlds are where you want to camp areas, which sounds pretty obvious, but you think sometimes higher population worlds or even riskier worlds where might might be where people are. We PK'd nine people for 706k. That's that's not bad. It could have been more. I'm just glad that we PK'd nine people. A lot of them were butt naked doing clues. I tried to hit about one mil at least minimum for one hour Wednesday, so we didn't hit that, but we got close. And like I said, it's all RNG at the end of the day. I'm just glad we found anyone at all. So if you want to see another video soon, make sure you're subscribed, have the notification on. You guys are fantastic. Let me know what you think about the webcam and uh, the daily videos for leaks coming up and all this new content. I'll be back on stream as well. And like always, I will see you guys in the next episode.